Fajitas. Just kidding. Fajitas. Alright. Now, one thing I like don't really know a whole lot about with venison is the, I think it's called the silver seam. So I'm cutting off things that I think look like it. <laughs> but we have deer steaks in this big bowl, and then we have antelope loin in the small bowl. And I've never, I've only made this recipe one time, and Jared and I did it with, what did we do it with? Backstrap. So we, today we're doing it with deer steaks, which I imagine is going to be just as good. Um, but we're not sure, or at least I'm not sure on the antelope, how that's gonna taste. Because antelope can be kind of rough, kind of dry, kind of rough, kind of tough and kind of dry. So um, I'm going to cook it separately so we can give it a shot and see how it tastes. Because I would hate to mix it in and there's a bunch of tough pieces. And then if it's good at the end, then I'll just mix it in with everything else. But if it's not good, then I have it separate. You know what I'm saying? You only have to marinate them for like 30 minutes, so um, it's really not a big deal that we waited till today to do this. So I'm gonna get to chopping on these, and um, yeah, that's all. All right, here we go. All right, so I have, this is the antelope and this is the venison. So we're having Dan and Liz, dang, as you guys know him, Dan, Liz, Shauna Kyle, Kylie Kyle, and Fitboy. Like I said in my last video, I'm calling him Fitboy now because it sounds like fat boy and fit boy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, one thing I forgot to show you guys is um, there's also garlic in this. Uh, forgot that part, sorry. Now I'm just gonna whip up that marinade and um, let them soak as long as possible because obviously the longer that they marinate for, the more juicy and tender and flavorful that they will be. So um, it is 10.45 right now. So I guess it's not technically morning anymore, but whatever. Um, and I don't think everyone is coming over until like five. So um, I have quite a while to let these marinate before I have to get to chopping and get to cooking. So one thing I learned off of TikTok I know, I know, is, okay, I don't have a skewer, but this is very similar, is it tells you to put the skewer, first of all, roll your lemon out because that like loosens the juices, but stick the pokey part inside like the little nipple. I don't know if you give it a little wiggle. I don't know. And then, Supposedly it just shoots right out. Oh gosh, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I am excited. Here, I'll do this. I'll do this. Oh, let, me, let me show you. All right, here we go. Okay, so far, no. All right, I don't think this worked. Maybe because I didn't use it. Oh, it's kind of working. Hi. Oh, it's kind of working. It's pee. Okay, it's not a skewer, but that kind of sort of worked. I doubled the marinade because I have more than a pound. I don't know how much I have, but I have more than a pound. Oh, I should have done a bigger bowl. Story of my life, am I right? Oh my. I never do big enough a bowl, no matter what I do. Let me just transfer the goods. That looks good. So now, I'm just going to pour the mixture. And here's what we're working with. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, and I have these handy dandy lids that'll just keep them nice and, nice and sealed. I'm gonna put these in the, the microwave. I'm gonna put these in the fridge for a long time. That's only half the battle because I have to cook. Well, those are clean from last night. I have to clean the kitchen. And then we have to chop up some veggies and whatnot, but I'll do that in a little bit um, because I don't feel like doing it right now. 
so. What dinner and a show? Oh, I get a view while I clean my mess. Hubba, hubba. Okay, this is gonna be so satisfying. Before, after. Satisfying, am I right? <laughs> All right, it's now 2.45, so I'm gonna let the meat marinate like another hour maybe. I actually don't remember how long it takes to cook the meat, but um, I'm gonna let it cook or marinate for probably another hour or so, but I'm gonna prep the veggies because I actually have quite a bit of veggies to cut because I said, like I told you before, I'm doubling the recipe. It calls for a lot of bell peppers and a lot of onion. So I'm gonna grab all that, prep it, so then I can just throw it in, you know? All right, move you over here. I've told you guys this a million times and I'll tell you a million more. Have a discard bowl because when you're prepping veggies, I just happen to have this, I'm gonna use it so I don't have to clean my bowl. But, oh it doesn't fit. Oh no, it doesn't fit. Okay, good enough. Uh, because when you're prepping veggies, it makes it a heck of a lot easier for you to just kinda Fun little way to cut your veggies, not your veggies, your bell pepper is chop the little head off, give it a little sliver right here, and then just follow it all the way around. Can you see that? And you just kind of cut. Oops. I'm really struggling with this one, so I'm not a pro at it yet, but. You get the just, okay? I'm just gonna choppy, choppy, choppy into little slivers. I know you guys don't care to see me chop up vegetables for the next 20 minutes. So, um, just know this is gonna be great. Just, just, just wait, get, just wait one second. Too freaking good, look at that. If that doesn't make you wanna eat veggies, I don't know. I don't know what will, because that's good. So now I need to cut the onions. I actually just forgot about those until just now. I have to cut more stuff. This wouldn't be a cooking with Stephanie vlog if we didn't run into a little bit of an issue. I just mixed up the meat and it's, um, there's, there's like no marinade left, which is good. That means all the meat sucked up the marinade but I have no more to cook all my veggies in because you're supposed to mix the meat with the marinade and the veggies and we have a problem. So I thought I had two pounds-ish pounds of meat. I think I have closer to three. But in the meantime, I'm gonna make some guacamole. Uh, I have all my things for it. I got tomato, got some lime, got some jalapenos. We got it all. Are you really cooking if you're not eating what you made yesterday? It's not the same. That venison lasagna made by yours truly. I know. I'm actually pretty dang good at guac. I just eyeball it though. What do I do with this? Get off! Get it. If y'all didn't know, you want to pick avocados that are squishy. Not like super squishy to the point where it's like mushy squishy. Just enough so you can kind of scoop them out, not have any issues. Bada bing bang boom, there you go. Jared hates when I put tomatoes in. Good thing his headphones are on because I'm doing it. The worst part of all of this is cutting freaking jalapenos. I hate cutting jalapenos because you wash your hands a bunch of times, no matter how much you wash them, your hand is still spicy, and so you rub your eye or your face or you itch your nose. In Jared's case, he cuts the jalapeno and then he goes to the bathroom. If you catch my drift, he was burning. That has happened. It really has. Cilantro. That sounded legit. Look at me go. Okay. It took an extra 10 minutes for me to make this look beautiful. I already took the limes out, but look how good that looks. I took a picky, gonna post it on Insta, but I'll post it here 
rather. So I kind of just eyeball what I think should go in the guac and about like how much. And then once it's all mixed together, I just go off how it looks. If it looks like it needs more tomatoes or it needs more whatever, then I do it. Uh, and then the ultimate test is the taste test, obviously. But we don't do that till the very end because I have to add lime and garlic salt. Garlic salt is like the secret key to everything. And if you over salt it or like make it too garlic salty, it <laughs> you just add lime and it'll help mellow it out. And that's what it looks like. And because I picked those avocados that were so, like I said, squishy, not mushy, uh, then it made it super easy to just mash them. And that's also when they're the freshest. So I'm not saying go crazy, but I'm saying be generous because it makes it so much better. And people are like, oh my gosh, I don't want that much salt. You do, because it's really freaking good when you do that. A smidge more of lime. Can you try my guacky guac? Right. He's made an appearance, finally, welcome. Here we go, give it a go. Wait, did I mix that? I think I mixed it mm. the second time. Mm. Oh yeah. Is that good? I've gotten to the point where I'm pretty good at just winging it and it turns out pretty good the first time, but sometimes I have to add a little more. I think like, ooh. Yeah, I think it's perfect. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. You want one more? And we eat the these. jalapenos in it? Yeah, and tomatoes and onions. In cilantro, I told you. But we eat normally our uh, guac with hint of lime cheap. Cheeps. The cheeps. So good. Game changer for your guac. But to make sure it's like perfect, do it with the normal one. Mmm, baby, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, look. More dishes for me to do. Love it. Love, love that for me. Right. Here's our, our veggies. Plop those puppies in there. Okay, that looks amazing. Things are coming together. I definitely forgot that vegetables are full of water and the meat soaks up the marinade and then it like lets it go once it gets hot. So, um, yeah, that is definitely liquidy enough and I'm super excited for it. <gasps> Look who it is! Oh, it's Fit boy, remember, like I said earlier, fit boy sounds like fat boy and fit boy. Cause look, he's like not so fat boy, you know? So he got here, first thing he said when he walked through the door is, it smells good. It does, it smells real good. And last time I made these, which was like a year ago, Jeremy was here. So you're gonna be the test to make sure that turns out the way it was supposed to. So for that bar. Yeah. We'll they were see. amazing last time we made them. The bar is really hot. It's real hot. Yeah, so we'll see. And then this is antelope. So we did deer steaks in this one. Last time it was back strap though. Yeah. So, um, but we did, we're doing trying antelope in this one. But I'm just pretty much Chef Boyardee over here. Not a big deal. Yeah. The guac has been out for mm, five minutes. There's like a third it's left. It's all fat boys and our mustaches. That's Ooh. right. And um, we I have. I do admit that I do good guac and her guac is better than mine. My you don't do good guac, bro. <laughs> So, um, I am the guac queen, apparently. No one called me that, I named myself that. In just a few minutes, we will dive into the heat. Really? I wonder if there's like some additive in it. I've made a terrible mistake. I didn't film when everyone got here and we ate. I'm sorry. I know, because it's now 10 o'clock and I just realized I did not film because Dan and Liz were running a little behind and so once they got here we were like okay let's eat and so I was heating tortillas up putting them on the grill not the grill the stove and melting the cheese on them and it just happened so fast and we ate and then we were watching the fights and I am so sorry frick I'm an idiot anyways the fajitas were delicious they turned out really good um I think I cooked the Deer the steaks a little bit too long. Um, they were simmering for like an hour. And I think that was a little bit too long. Um, they got a little bit tough, but they were still super good. We'll just get the verdict. 
of everyone because this is what we've been doing the last three hours. Do you see all the people? Look at that. Yeah, I made a mistake. I, I, I wasn't lying. Everyone was here. Everyone ate the fajitas. We enjoyed them. Did you like the fajitas? They were delicious. See? They ate them. I just forgot to film it. I'm sorry. Okay, attention, everybody, please. I need to know. The people need to know because I am a bad vlogger and forgot to film. How did we like the fajitas, everybody? Two thumbs up. Bueno. 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 so good. Thank you. Yeah, they, they hit the yeah. spot. You guys followed me the entire day with those stupid fajitas and I forgot to film. I'm really sorry. I will link the fajita recipe down below. 10 out of 10, it was super good. With the deer steak, I would recommend doing it maybe like 45 minutes. Once the, um, once the veggies are tender, take it off because by then the venison, because it's so th thinly sliced, it's done. And I made the mistake because I was just waiting for everyone to get here and it just cooked a little bit too long, which is totally, totally fine um, because it still turned out amazing. We put some guac on there, some sour cream. And like I said, if you put a tortilla on the skillet and then just put some cheese on it and cover it and just let the cheese melt, way better than just putting cold cheese on top. Pro tip for you. Anyways, I'm so sorry I didn't film the ending for you guys, but um, yeah, life happens. So that's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.